There's a rather, uh, let's say, epic world quest over here, so I kind of want to go try and do this. I don't know. These world quests are going to be the, the, the end of my ability to finish <laughs> this zone. Um, there's also a quest over here. I'm going to grab this quest real quick, and then I will head to that epic world quest. Slay Alliance within Nazjatar. Didn't I? Ah, oh, it's a different. Okay, gotcha. Okay, okay. I've got like two quests to kill Alliance now. Sweet. I guess I need to start PvPing some people. Um, more aggressively PvPing some people, I should say. Oh, wow. Um, there's apparently a lot of stuff going on here. Uh, yeah, this is, uh, a lot of bad guys to, uh, <laughs> oh, I, this is fun, I, uh, didn't expect, uh, such a cluster to occur here. Let's see if we can get this guy. I'm getting some alliance players slain, it's nice, it's nice. Okay, well, it's, it's really hard for me to focus, what, what's, what's happening here? It's very hard for me to focus on talking while I'm suddenly in PvP. I find it very unpredictable, whereas in most PvE encounters, it's kind of, um, I wouldn't say necessarily predictable, but I can, I can, I don't know, a little more predictable. Whereas in PvP, I have no idea what I'm doing still. Um, I need to read the comments from the last video. I'm assuming there's a couple comments on there that have some suggestions for this kind of stuff, but yeah, in a way I'm very uh, unfamiliar with a lot of this stuff. So I guess this is just a gold reward, so I don't know if it's really that valuable. Um, where's the boss? How do I get over there now? Oh, I ran past the thing I had to run by. Okay. Reset scatter. I went too far. Naga have summoned an enormous beast from the depths. Slay it before it can reach our encampment. Am I gonna get credit for this if I don't tag it? I think I'll get a tag in. There we go, there we go. <laughs> it's like oh no. Don't let me miss it. I'd be very sad. Nice. No matter how many monsters she pits against us. Uh. Do I get? I think I think I just got gold from that. I think is all I got. Am I? Oh, is it my combat? <laughs> Apparently I am. Apparently I am. Uh, let's go up here and take this guy out. Um. Yeah, so I did not get anything too worthwhile from that, that's okay. I'm gonna die here, that'd be unfortunate. I back up a little bit. Um. Uh, yeah, so... There was just gold as a reward, that's okay. Um, I wasn't expecting necessarily anything great, but... I thought it was worth a shot. Um, I'm trying to get out of combat from this mob that's still chasing me. Also, the party, that'll probably... Okay. Alright, alright. So now I want to actually work on real, re like, legitimate quests. I do want to grab this flight point, um, real fast. And then, once I get the flight point, um, well, I guess I'll just fly back to... Where is it at? Okay, over here. I'll grab the flight point, fly back to our new home. I think it's a yeah, new home. And then I think I'm just gonna go work on... Are these all just... I don't know. I actually don't know what quest I'm gonna work on. It seems like everything I have is just killing Alliance players right now. Um, Alright. Doesn't seem to be any quest here. So let's 
go back to new home. Um, I need to grab my ally, right? Is that what I'm missing? Is, uh... An ally? Is that... I need to go pick one up, or, or I forget how to... This is... <laughs> oh, man. Alright, alright. Uh, where do I grab my allies? I know there's a way... I need to speak to someone here. Not the ancient relics guy. We share what we've got. But sure. I'll grab this quest. I'll see what, we can um, what are these? What Treasures again? Okay. I do have enough to actually buy something. Okay. Or I could do an upgrade. So let's, let's buy some gear. Um, benthic armor. So what do I have? I have a benthic pants, benthic chest, and benthic hat. Um, so that's my lowest item level. Probably my waist. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, so probably my waist is the most recent, so maybe I'll grab the... Girdle? Let's start with this. Um, I think girdle. Okay, what do I get? So this is a 99 item level upgrade. Jeez. Awesome, and I go from 318 to 325. Cool. Um... Alright, what else do I want to get? I can get one more. And what's my next lowest? 290, 286 on the boots. Um, oh, 277 wrists. So that's probably what I want to upgrade. Um, or, okay, yeah. Arm guards, hand guards. Let's do this. Alright. So that's all my... All the stuff I can use right now. So this is a... Yeah, 108 item level upgrade. And now we're up to 331. Sweet. Cool. That's some nice upgrades. Um... <laughs> someone's in a guild called Discord. Okay. What do we have here? I'm kind of just like looking around. Uh, Vanguard bounties below when available. Okay, nothing's available right now. Gladiator quartermaster. What will you require? you be arriving just in time. Time is money, friend. Have a good one. Huh. I just haven't really taken the time to uh, completely look around everything here. Fixer for repairs. Yeah. Mine is yours. Sweet. Um, that's fine. Okay. Oh, did I just- oh, okay, I'm in the worst. I was like, did I just jump on water and- Oh, uh, here we go. Okay, this is how I get my allies. Okay, got it. Um, so who was I working with before? It was Neri, but I have no experience with any of them. Let's still have Neri come with us. And does that mean she gives me a quest to do also? Um, complete, you know, you're ready, should you like to join? Okay, and there's a quest over here, let's go grab this quest also. Um, yes. We share what we've got. Bounty a few snapdragons, kill 10 snapdragons, okay, requisition we need it all. Everything okay. Um, alright, there's all sorts of stuff. Um, Flotsam, where's this at? Just all over the place? Um. Alright, I don't know what I, I don't really know what I want to go do. I'm gonna go maybe just slay some snapdragons. I kinda wanna move towards this flight point, so what I wanna do actually is eventually get get over there. Um just to start discovering the zone, I think that would be a useful thing. So maybe let's head in this direction and just do anything along the way that... Flotsam's apparently over there. Just do anything along the way that kind of comes up, including some PvP. And the map, I want to go out like this. 
Yeah, this this will be okay. Alright, let's head out this way. Kind of head east. Uh, so, let's see what's new in my life. Not a lot. It's hot this weekend. Today's Saturday. It's hot. I'm, uh, my wife and I are gonna go to, like, a 7-Eleven and get some Slurpees, like, for each of us, just for... Drop zones, huh? There's so much going on in this game. It's a little overwhelming, I'll be honest. Like, uh, <laughs> to be, when I look at all these things here, there's a lot of stuff to do. Um, I'm not sure if these are just, like, if these are actually useful things, or if I, uh... Or if it's all just kind of like distractions, but I do find it a little complicated. All right, we've killed a bud. Um, yeah, so we're gonna, we're like thinking like we don't even want to go outside. It's so hot. We are gonna. I'm gonna run some errands. I've, I've got some old computer parts I sold on eBay. Um, I have to drop off the post office, and my wife has like a, she bought some shoes, and she didn't really like the way they fit, so she's going to return them. That's going to go through like the postal service also, or UPS or something. Um, Alright, here's our flight point. Sweet. Found it. That's useful. So anyway, yeah, we have like nothing major planned today. Alright. Alright. There is an alliance player down here. He has a lot of health. It's sort of scary. Murky's egg entered. Uh. Sweet. What do I do? This. Kill stuff. Alright. Murky's a beast. What does this do? Uh, spit out a puffer fish. After three seconds, it blows up. Sure. Nice. And the Murloc March? This sounds cool. Nice, let's do it. This is very much reminds me of, uh... Reminds me quite a bit of, uh... Heroes of the Storm. Playing as Murky. He was a really cool hero. Kind of a unique one. I like, uh, Murky quite a bit. Does this not count as slaying snapdragons? It should count, right? For my, uh, snapdragon slaying quest over here? Maybe not. Playing as Murky. Can you play as Murky anywhere else? To my knowledge, this is the only... This is the only time I've ever played as Murky. I've played as a Murloc before, right? Um, Sir Finley, I think? Or maybe I, I quested with Sir Finley? I forget how that worked, but it was, it was in, um, Legion. I forgot what zone. But there's definitely Sir Finley quests, at least. Um, Panda Cub, Mary, yeah. This is fun. Uh, so anyway, yeah, it's kind of a, just a hot day for us, so we're not really doing a whole bunch of stuff. Um, which is fine with me. I'm not unhappy with that at all. Um... Looking forward to the easy day. I'm gonna do some work from home. I've got I brought my laptop home just because I like to work on my laptop sometimes. I'm doing. I'm actually applying for. At least I'm considering applying for some professorship positions that opened up recently. Um, these would be more in um, more food microbiology, <clears throat> which is kind of my older field, rather than my infectious disease field that I'm currently in. Um, Still not 100% decided on that. Never again will my people forsake oh, me done. In times of need. Thank you. Cool. I received glowing azurite. Right? Is that what I received? Grants 340. Okay, so it's automatically used. I see, so I've also got the heart of Azeroth over here. Um, I feel like I should just gank that. Uh, This is my Snapdragons. I guess it doesn't count if I was playing as Murky. But this counts as kills. So that's good. Let me kill these guys while I'm here. This is an easy quest. I got my flight point, which is what I was really motivated to do. Um, yeah, so I might be applying for some professorship positions. I'm kind of... I need to review the applications more and make sure that I feel... 
that the positions are a good fit for me because it's a lot of time to apply for these things. It takes a lot of time and it's just annoying to um, spend so much time applying for something or like working towards it and then realizing it's not the right thing for you or you're not qualified. These applications for a professor position um, usually consist of anywhere from like a one to three page teaching statements, like kind of your philosophy on teaching, and then a one to three page research statement on like what research you'll conduct as a professor in that department. Um, then you have to do a cover letter, like kind of one page usually, and then a um, your resume or your CV has to be updated, and then a list of references. Legacy and Naranan. Activate the memory pylons in Naranan and witness what happened. Hey there, undead. Mind helping me out? You see, I found these pylons here, and it seems they contain memories from a notable highborn who lived here long ago. I can't get any closer to the rest of them because of the snapdragons, especially the terror maws. The music's so loud here. Can you go and activate the pylons for me? We Tortolians love old things, and this is a potential gold mine. Oh, and be sure to write down what you see. It's not letting me click it the rest of the way. Okay. I have a favor to ask of you, if you would be so kind. Scroll Sage Nola gave me the scroll to protect me on my adventures here in Najatar. Najatar. I still gotta figure out the pronunciation. She is a kind soul, but her scroll work isn't always the most accurate. You look like a brave adventurer who's seen a thing or two. Could you test out the scroll for me? While you're there, you may as well call their numbers a tad. So use the scroll of busting power on Snapdragon Terror Maws and slay Snapdragons in Naania. Naarna. Interesting. Okay. We're gonna witness a memory over here, folks. As Shara has requested that I formulate a new oops. The wolves in the north may prove to be suitable hosts, although I worry about creations we cannot control. Alright, as a short-lived memory. Uh, let's continue moving. We just need to kill some snapdragons. We got a lot of quests we can do over here. It's kind of cool. I always love a good, like, concentrated location of quests. Um, snaplings. Sure. Uh, what are we killing snaplings for? Uh, this is for... I see, I see. Hold on a sec. Um, this actually looks like it might count for both of my quests. Snapdragon slain for the bounty and the... Uh... Nice. Okay, perfect. So if we kill this little pack over here, we'll be done. But I also need to kill... Oh, that's not true. I need to... That'll be done with the first quest, but not the second one. That's fine. All right, pretty easy. Test the scrolls on a terror maw, okay. Oh yeah, that works pretty well. Nice scroll, right? Well, fairly well. Um, could be better. <laughs> Didn't kill it. Um, did a lot of damage. Uh, these terror maws kind of beefy. I'm glad I had that scroll to help me out. This would be a little more painful if it was. Alright. Alright, scroll tested. Let's go test another scroll. The question is, can I use the scroll twice in the same mob? No, I cannot. Okay, that's good to know. Oh, I, um... So I'm applying for these professorship positions, potentially. I'm going to kind of research them more, so decide, you know, before I commit fully. Um, but they're due, like, early September, so I've got a little bit of time. Not a lot. It, they usually take me a few weeks, at least, for each one. Um, let's view the second memory, and I'll continue the story. Students, round up as many of the local wolves as you can at once. As Shara's advisor will be visiting soon, make haste or she will have our heads. Okay. Um, 
so there's that that's going on so that's one thing and then the other thing um i recently i bought an advanced ticket or just like bought a ticket for uh for once upon a time in hollywood it's a new quentin tarantino film that comes out i think august no I mean, yeah i think Actually, I actually don't remember. I should should know that because I need to go. To, it's maybe it's end of July. It's end of July, I think. I should know that because I actually need to show up for the uh, showtime. Yeah, but I bought a ticket for that, so I'm excited. I uh, really like Quentin Tarantino films. I've seen most of them, but not all of them. Archaic Shrine should give me a buff, right? I forget what these do, or what this quest is even for. Um. I don't really know what this is. Oh, I see. I'm picking this up. Huh. So what does this do? Bolstered with an ancient power, increasing haste by 10%. And damage dealt by 10%. That's awesome. Seems quite good. Um, I just aggroed a bunch of stuff. Maybe. Or just one thing. Okay. Uh, we're going to witness another memory here in a moment. As soon as I clear these silly snapdragons away. Um, yeah, so, okay, I was like, what does that, that, that shrine look like? Something that would be a buff for me, but I didn't understand. And then I was, as I was running across that, I started noticing. Um, I was like, oh, hey, I'm, like, something, some noise is happening, something's occurring. Alright, I've got to turn on the music. It's way too loud. It's like, it's getting to me. I only got one earbud in, it's getting to me, so... Alright, last vision, uh, memory. Silence mage, I'm here for results, not pleasant trees. Wow, ouch. Now I was told you had created something called a snapdragon, as Shara has seen keen interest in this development. Show me at once. So, Elrina, the professor, made snapdragons? That's interesting. Did we... know that? Did I? Was I supposed to know that? That's kind of cool. Alright, hold on a sec. I'm gonna go... farther northeast to grab this next... quest. <laughs> and flight point. Help Arcanist... First Arcanist, first Arcanist Thalrissa search the drowned market. Okay. This is not on behalf of the Horde or the war effort. It's been over 10,000 years. I feel like that number comes up abnormally frequently in Warcraft lore relative to like any other any other fantasy set video game or genre or uh, not genre movie book anything. I feel like ten thousand years comes up a lot in World of Warcraft. Uh, I knew many of these people, even trained some of them. Will you walk with me as I learn their fates? The road is dangerous. Be careful. Sure. Just. I will follow you. Or I guess she'll follow me. Oh, I need this. Done. Maybe in here? Yeah, it looks like it. Alright, what's in here? Am I wrong? Is this not ready to be? Maybe I need to be up here? Uh, hold on a sec. Um... Greetings. This should be, uh, Weeping Sanya should be here, but I don't see her anywhere. Maybe, oh, maybe, uh, I don't know. Um, I'm not really sure what is going on. That's not an upgrade, is it? No. Uh oh. Am I like? Am I being phased weirdly? What? It seems like I should be here. I mean, it seems like a spot I should be in. But when I, All right, like every time I walk out, I see player characters, and there when I walk in, I don't see anything. 
But I also don't see anything I can do here. Am I, am I supposed to do something on the quest? Um. Like, I feel like there should be a something here. <laughs> like, all these people are going right here, but I don't see anything. Um. I mean, clearly this is where I'm supposed to be, based on the minimap, too. Um. That's weird. I'm gonna go look at the Hippogriff vendor, because <laughs> I'm kind of curious what this person offers. Huh. A drowned hatch? Wait. Cool. Well, maybe not today. Uh, what I really wanted to do was just go get this flight point over here. <laughs> More than anything, that's what I came over here for, not to do this quest. Um, so I'm gonna go get the flight point, and then I will figure out what I want to do from there. I kind of want to just go turn in the quests I already have done. That's like really my priority. Okay. We are getting some of these things done on our other quests just by, I don't know, not pure chance, but <clears throat> by, uh, just by doing other things. Oh, my throat got really, uh, groggy all of a sudden. This is a really creepy looking banshee. Um, like the color scheme makes it quite, quite spoopy. Alright, let's go grab this flight point. And over here. Sweet. Done. Alright. Now, I want to fly back to where this is. Turn in those quests and we can move on from there. Do I have, like, a... Group finder? Battle for with normal. Okay, Waycrest Manor. I've done... I think I've done all of these. Maybe not Atal Dazar? Or the Temple of Sethrilis. I don't know if I've done those. But I've done the other ones, I think. At some point, I just need to... Do some of those uh, five mans, just to kind of see them. I like doing the five mans in general. I've enjoyed just checking them out. Um, Alright, let's go over here. Collect your Kojo. Snapdragon. Um, let's finish this guy off real fast. All right. What are your hero rates and estimated funeral expenses? <laughs> estimated funeral expenses. I like that. All right, let me see what you got. I think we may have just found the origin of Snapdragons. Let's see what else we can learn here. Uh, wow, that powerful, huh? I'll be sure to keep this with me then. All right, defeat the Snapdragon Matriarch, collect the memory core, and activate the memory pylon to witness the fate of Professor Elrin El Rina. Uh, from the looks of it, Elrina's story should have a very interesting end. This pylon here has been acting up, but I think I know why. These things use memory cores, little crystals found within the center of the orb. I bet there's one in that old magi. I'd say magi, that's how I pronounce that. I've heard magi, but I think it's magi. There's a snapdragon that's bigger than the terror maws in there, so here, keep the scroll for now. It should help you in your fight. She's a... Big one. Um, yeah, so, let's see, what am I, how was I in my story time? So I'm really excited for Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. I haven't really seen much about it. I just know it's a Quentin Tarantino film, and I know some of the actors that are going to be in it. So, I'm on board. Like, that was it for me. I was like, okay, let's do it. That's all it takes. Um, I'm actually going uh, on, like, Thursday night? Which I think is opening night, um, so that's kind of cool. I don't, I very rarely do like opening night stuff for movies for quite a few reasons. I just don't usually, I'm not that big of a movie goer. Like I like movies, but I'm not a huge movie fan. All right, got the memory core. Let's go turn this in. Um, yeah, yeah, you know, some people watch multiple movies a day or a night or whatever or a week, I should say. I watch like maybe one movie a month, maybe two a month at the most, so I'm not, and I don't go to theaters very often, because I, again, if I don't care about movies that much, I have a huge backlog, and although I do think the experience at a theater is different, um, I'm perfectly happy. Doing them at, watching them at home for cheap. Sorry, I was getting attacked, got distracted. Uh, do you dare waste the queen's time? Uh oh, she's gonna die. Huh. 
All right. Suck the coach him. Nope. Nope. Not yet. Uh oh. Then we don't need you anymore. Knew it. <laughs> GG. What a quick decision. Oh, so you have notes? Yep, you're dead. Alright, what happened that fateful day? So, she was betrayed by that general? He probably proceeded to take all the credit himself. Shame. But at least now we have the knowledge. Thank you, Super Dead. That's pretty messed up. Ah, uh, what's this combat hell experience? Making Kelpberry wine. I need to do some of those ally quests, so how do I get there? Uh, well, it looks like maybe I try to follow the road when I can. I don't know. Off-roading kind of scares me. <laughs> I have, I have uh, strange fears, I suppose you could say. But this looks like we can go off-road pretty easily here. Um. <laughs> Alrighty then. Oh, what's this? I'll take that. Ancient moat. Let's get some more, uh... It maxes out at 10, it seems like. Okay, I'll just leave the rest, I don't care. Alright, let's do this ally quest. I hope this is a fun, easy one. It looks like it's something to do with beverages, which is usually kind of cute quests. Deliver kelpberry wine to Maiden and Maiden's Challenge. Okay, this is an empty kelpberry juice cask. There's someone nearby that may appreciate a refill. Uh, where at? Um... Okay, so apparently I need to go over here, get some kelp berries. Kelp berry wine is Maiden's favorite. She's always grateful when we replenish a supply. Anytime we get scared, she tells us stories to brighten our spirits. So we like to do nice things for her. Okay. Huh. Things don't end well for us. But at least we know that Maiden will remember us and her stories. <laughs> That's the way to, that's the spirit. Uh, if we don't make it, at least we'll be remembered. I mean, I think that's a pretty basic, uh, I'd say human, human, you know, need or belief to want to, to want to be remembered, you know, not to get super philosophical. And I guess it carries over to Neri Sharpfin. Ah, uh, Fallen Kelp Bud. Take some of that. All right, now where do we turn this quest in at? Back this way, okay. This is a very easy ally quest, this is it. What? What is this? Okay, I'm, uh, my like blood pressure went up, I'm like, oh my gosh, some stuff's going down here. Is she down here? Is this Maiden's Challenge? It seems like this must be the place. So there's some uh, world PvP going on here. So slay footmen, slay players. Alright, we're doing some weird PvP stuff now. Making Kelpberry wine. Did you bring some me something? Yes, I did. Mana pearls. Ally rip. Okay, I'm gonna get a quest done over here. Nice. What does she sell? An, extreme, an oil drum of alcoholic beverage. She has so much alcohol. This is very interesting. Huh. That's one of the most well equipped bartenders I've ever seen. Um, I'm asking for an invite because everyone in chat's asking for an invite. I'm sure someone's got a group going. Because I'm, I'm sure not starting a group, so I don't know what I'm doing. Um, so I'm in like the most isolated part of this entire zone. There's like no one here. So the goal is to hit 3,000. Alright. Yeah, the goal is to hit 3,000. Now, I don't know how this works at all. So, my server is Illidan. Illidan is wildly overpopulated with Horde relative to Alliance. Are we... 
is it cross realm for this type of a thing or is it like our alliance just screwed every time because they're so outnumbered i mean it's literally like i thought it's like a nine to one ratio of a horde to alliance last time i checked i mean look at this it's just like at least the moment all it seems like is horde capturing everything um i'm trying to get to this one because maybe i can help you know do something. But I don't really know what I'm doing once I get here. I'm invited to the group. Squad up. Oh boy, that's a lot of alliance. Yeah, that sucks. <laughs> well, uh, uh, uh. Yeah, I was like, oh, I will help capture this one. And it's like, nah. That's a, uh, a lot of alliance here. What is this? Zin as Shari. Twelve allies in is what they're saying. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna really. <laughs> Maybe I can solo these guys. I got this. I'll just uh, blade flurry, and uh... all right, we're going in. We got two of us. Sure. Um, I'm gonna take on this footman. I don't know what I'm doing <laughs> at all. I need to find a target and just... Here we go, I'm gonna hit this guy. Oh, it's a footman. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna hit this guy. Alright, there's a Madden soul. I'll take that out. That was... Uh... Where did all those horde come from? It was all of a sudden, like... Uh, this dude got... Like, they got wrecked. I just saw like, you know, two, two hordes show up. I was like, oh yeah, okay, we'll go in. I'll help these guys. I'm not sure what, what I'm going to do, but why not? And the next thing I know, there were a lot of hordes showing up. A lot. Oh, we're winning. We're 10% done. That seems good. <laughs> Someone in chess says, wow, they died instantly. I was like, yeah, like 30 horde piled on. So how do we capture this? Do we just wait here? Oh, I see. Maybe this is it. Okay, so we have to camp on it. And then if there's alliance here contesting it, maybe that doesn't... Um, so I see it's moving up. I remember this thing. Okay. It's been a while since so I've done anything like this. Um, But, if we leave here, like, if no one's here horde-wise, it probably just stops. Um, so we have to camp it. And it seems like every time an alliance shows up, it, um... It... Will, uh... Pause? I think? Oh, this, this person's super dead. Got him. Alright, capture by the horde, cool. Uh, are we gonna leave now? I mean, now it should be horde guards spawning. I think. So we'll go south. Get to Thoris. Thoris. The more. I don't know where we're going. Sim says, get to Thoris. Which one's Thoris? Thoris, okay. So in that case, maybe I should have flown. All right, we captured that one. Let's do this. This is probably the fast way for me to get there. Because New Home is like right there. Yeah. All right. Let's roll. Oh, we got a quest turn in. Let's turn in a few Snapdragons. Sure. All right. So where am I going? Like, is it above me or what? It seems like it should be right here. My guess is that it's outside some... How? I think I see how to... I think I need to go, like, around and back up top. Alright, let's go around this way. This, this seems... I was gonna say, it wouldn't be in New Home. That doesn't, that doesn't make sense to me. 
from like a fairness to the alliance approach. What just happened to me? I reward. I was gained. I gained one honor. Okay, this seems fairly evenly contested, to be honest. Oh, I'm so slow. Oh, <laughs> evenly contested. Horde capture everything. All right, let's uh, hop out here. Meh, dead. I'm getting some alliance players slain bonuses, which is nice. How do the people move around so fast? I mean, some of them can fly, which is quite nice. I don't quite have that advantage. I'm a little more limited uh, in that in that <laughs> respect. Um, what's this? All right, nothing I really needed, but sure. I love grabbing these things. I don't know why. It's just kind of fun. Pulling seaweed. Forget if anything what happens. It is once before. A part of me just wants to stay here, but I think I will try to keep moving. I remember when someone taught me that trick, that to like not have fall damage, basically. That was really cool. Where's Title? That must be this one. I can't like hover over it because there's people on it, or there's like a quest that's blocked. There we go. Title, okay. So how do I get there? What's a fast way for me to get there? I don't have any fast way to get there. <laughs> um, okay, I have an idea. Let's go over this way. Huh. So we're about a third of the way. Not quite a third of the way. We're really more like um, a quarter of the way. A little less than a quarter. So what happens if we win? Do I get something? Like, is there some reward for doing this? I'm assuming there's something. <laughs> so kill footmen, kill players, capture and hold control points. I assume by having control points, we just get, like, um, every two seconds or something, we get some points. And I assume for every footman we kill, we get, like, one point. And maybe every alliance player is one point. That's, what, that's my assumption for how this works. Um... I had no idea this was even a thing. So I'm not going to title. I'm gonna get out of this. Because I figured by the time I would get there, they would have captured it, which seems like that's the case. So I was like, I'm gonna go a different direction. And, oh, uh, ooh. Ten. Yeah, I can't engage here. I would like to, but I cannot. So I've captured three. We just lost. It's funny how we just keep losing them and regaining them. This is interesting. Like this one we had, right? We just had this moment ago and lost it. It's because we're not st strategizing, or basically everyone's zerging each one. I don't know exactly, but. That's a cute uh, razor shell turtle. I like it. Are we baiting them away? That's a good plan. Um, Alright, I'm gonna just get in here and start hitting something. I don't know which one I'm hitting, but it's kind of par for the course for me. So I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing, but hey, that's a cool guy. Hag Hagrenar. I use Marked for Death on Hagrenar. Hagrim. Hag. Hagrenar, unfortunately. Alright, let's move in, guys. Let's get him. Alright, Blade Flurry is up. Pop some of these things. Alright, I always forget to use my, uh. My. Ability? I'll, I'll explain in a second what I'm forgetting to use. Immune, immune, immune. Paladins, man. Wait, is that Paladin? Paladins, man. Yeah, it is a Paladin. Know thy enemy. Oh, what's this? 
Oh, I killed all the ally races. How long did it take me to do that? That's really funny. Um, so I don't ever use this. My con concentrated flame. I always forget to use the concentrated flame. I did use it there, though. That was nice. Um, Alright. We're a third of the way done. I think this was 45 minutes. So it'll take us about another 30 minutes to finish this raid. This would make it a pretty long episode. Um... Part of me thinks I just stay here and just kill some guards and, like, guard this area against at least a few alliance if I can. Um, might be nice. My wounds are too great. Rip. Oh, let's, let's get this one. Do I even have Will the Forsaken on my hotbar? I just got feared and I'm like, wait, wait, wait. Is Will of the Forsaken still a thing? Did they take it away from... How long has this been a... <laughs> How long has Will of the Forsaken... There, there it is, there it is. Okay, I do have it on my hotbar, it's just I used it. Okay. Gotcha. I was like, there's no way I don't have this on my hotbar. I didn't actually mean to press it during all that. But I was like, there's no way they took that away. Right? And then I was thinking maybe they did. Because I didn't see it at first, but there it is. Man, Will the Forsaken is so good. Alright. This one's capped. We've capped that one, that one, that one. We've only got one left to cap. Right? I see five. One, two, three, four, five. If you capture all five, do you get some, like, crazy bonus? Like, these you start just racking up points? Who said that? Oh, Madden Soul. The question is, how do we... So we've got people at each of these. We've got one guy here. There's a few of us, maybe one me. I'm the only one here. Okay, it's up to me now. <laughs> and then there's two here. And there's a squad moving in, it looks like there. We lost title. Okay. Um... All right, we got this, we got this. All right, all good. I don't know what I'm doing still. Whoops, I caps like that. Whoops. Sorry for caps. I said a uh, couple at Zin in all caps, and I realized I hit the caps lock key. So that'd be sweet if we can capture uh, the spire. I'm hoping for it. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. All right. Let's do this. There's a lot of health in this guy, apparently. I'm gonna back away for a sec. Re-engage. I wanted to give a, a moment to reorient myself in this whole thing. Uh-oh. That's bad. Trying to kill. Okay, there we go. Got someone. Um, sweet. Okay. Uh, what is going on with this? This guy seems to be lagging or glitched out in some weird way. It's strange. Whatever. Okay. Uh, 2000. Actually, we're, we're cr ranking up. Cracking up. R racking up the points. Oh, I see. You capture all five, and it's, like, very, very fast. They're gaining, like, a hundred now per click. That's awesome. That sped things up quite a bit. 
Wait, did it? Yes. Okay. So what do we get? I'm just like I'm just curious what happens. Like I've never seen this. I've I didn't know this was a thing. And I'm learning new things all the time. Um, they all went to new home. For some reason, someone's saying there's not much going on in chat. People are just saying like GG, good job. Oh, cool. So. Sixty minutes. Recently participated in battle. Unable to receive rewards. Okay. My critical strikes increased by 1,000. Is that from that? That's cool. Um, I got... So what else happened? I got 10 mana pearls. Um, the unstable mana pearls what I just got. So that's a buff that gives me 1,000 critical strikes for 2 hours. That's cool. And a battle commendation. Cool. Nifty. That was fun. I enjoyed that. I don't, I don't really know if I know what was going on, but um, so fun. Um... Let's see what's up here. Let's go do this ally quest. I do want to kind of try to get all three ally quests done. Uh, maybe not necessarily today, but soon. Just to complete that becoming a friend quest. Oh, great. The Alliance is going to be angry after all that. I'm just going to grab this quest and mosey. Yeah, I'm going to get out of here. <laughs> I do not feel safe over there at all. How do I get here? Huh. I need to get... For that ally quest, I'm trying to figure out how to get over there. I need a water walking mount. There's a little bug mount that was like the only water walking mount, I think, right? Oh, man. Deep tide frenzy's hitting me. Alright. Oh, this is a kind of a bigger mob than I thought it was going to be. Um... I'm gonna kill this, even though I don't think I have a quest for it. I mean, I don't have a quest for it. But just in case it gives me a quest? No. Just a... Like, it looks like a quest mob, but not for a quest that I have. So, there goes that. How do I get there? This seems very far to fall. <laughs> I'm a little nervous about this fall. Um, what is this? Okay. Uh, sure. Let's do this. This is a neat little area. Deep coil tunnels. I need this, actually. So let's grab it. <laughs> little sap action. Always, always handy. I can still mount down here. That's nice. This is probably the wrong spot to be in for this quest. Like, I'm looking at the map, and I'm like, I don't know if this is the right location. Uh... Oh, it is. Cool. I was really worried it was the wrong spot. Kate Finn Gills. Okay. What's up? Uh, destroy ten deep coil eggs. This chamber is lovely and terrifying. What is born here will ruin the lives of so many. We cannot hurt the pods, but we can destroy the eggs of the serpents that guard them. Take out the eggs. Every little bit helps. Poor eggs. Okay. Egg smash. Does something pop out? No. Nifty. That's easy enough. There's some big worms down here. Let's uh, not anger those. Um, oops, I, I'm still not getting used to moving around my hotbar from last episode. I'm still making that mistake of not using Sinister Strike and using uh, Between the Eyes when I don't mean to. I'm working on that. Um, yeah, okay. Whew, oh boy. I, uh... Is there a flight point here? Oh, oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oh, that's terrifying. Uh, let's do this. Um, can I kill this thing? I think I can kill it. I think I'll be fine. I wasn't sure. I was thinking, and I'm like, I'm gonna actually lose this guy. But I th think I can make this happen. Maybe? Maybe not. It's a lot of health, and it's hitting me pretty hard. That's okay. I can vanish. That's with like a thousand bonus critical strike. <laughs> um, 
Alright, I don't want to fight those big guys. They're painful. Let's go fight the little ones. Alright. Uh, yeah, so it's a hot weekend. No plans besides doing some work at home, possibly. And uh, maybe go get a Slurpee at 7-Eleven or something, just because just it sounds tasty. Might go to Target, get some errands done. Drop off some packages to the Postal Service for some eBay stuff I'm selling. Um, it's actually from that... I did a video uh, maybe a month ago now, where I looked at... A lot of old. I built. I basically bought a bunch of computer parts and had a few things donated to me actually from uh, viewers on the YouTube channel. It was appreciated. And um, I ended up. Uh, I dropped some. I won't be doing that. Um, and uh, but I resold most of the stuff that I was donated was older stuff, like not super valuable, um, which is fine. Like I'm not complaining, but. I ended up selling the stuff that I purchased back on eBay, um, because it actually is worth a decent amount. Um, thankfully. <laughs> so, like, I bought at a decent price, I'm reselling it on eBay, I'm making most of my money back, uh, if not all, which is nice, so I didn't lose a lot on that video. I had a lot of fun making it, it was totally worth it, I love making that video. Um, anything around testing computer hardware, especially in a, for a purpose that I care about, such as playing classic well. Um, all that benchmarking was a lot of fun, reselling it all to make, get my money back. You know, nothing too complicated there. Um, that reminded me though, I was just thinking about it. Uh, it did help. I uh, have a Patreon now and um, the Patreon funding actually was helpful for that kind of a video. It made it a little bit easier to uh, justify spending a little bit of the money to buy some of that stuff. Um, so thanks to my Patreon support, especially uh, Timothy B who's my top supporter and gets a special shout out for that honor. Um, it's greatly appreciated. Um, I... What else did I gonna say? Something else. Oh, so I mentioned on my uh, Twitter that I started seeing a therapist recently. Uh, maybe a little over a month or two ago now. A couple months ago now. Um, and I think it was kind of surprising to some people, possibly. Because I don't think people think of me as someone that needs therapy, and I don't need therapy. Um, I'm not diagnosed with any, even after seeing my therapist, I don't have any diagnoses. I wasn't diagnosed with any sort of anything. Um, my therapist kind of was like, so why are you here? Like, not in like a, I shouldn't be here kind of way, but in like a, like, she literally said, um, so you are, seem to be a very, like, well-adjusted, highly functioning adult, so why are you, you know, what, what bring, why would you ask her to come to therapy? And I was like, well, let me turn on this quest. Uh, the fewer creepy flying snakes we have guarding the Naga, the better. Yeah, to that. Um, I'm gonna try to go out this, so I'm gonna wrap the episode pretty soon, but I'm gonna try and get out of this cave first, over in this direction. So, the truth is, um, I do feel pretty good. Like, I have a very good life. Um, you know, I have bad days, everyone has bad days or bad moments where things are frustrating and um, they can be upsetting or you get angry about them or whatever, but for the most part, I would say I um, handle things really well. I, I'm pretty good at living by the philosophy of, you know, I worry about the things I can impact or change and the things I can't change. I, Not that I ignore them, but I do a pretty good job of not... Did I go the wrong way? Yeah, maybe. I do a pretty good job of not letting, not dwelling on them. You know, like, what are you gonna do? Like, for example, um, what's an example? Okay, like an easy one. Like, I think, um, you know, homeless children is like a really sad thing. I can't directly solve that problem. I can do some things, like I can donate to or money to organizations. Uh-oh. We have a bounty on this guy. Um, you know, I can donate money or time to organizations that help fight homelessness in, children, in the uh, child population. Um, but I don't sit there all day and like get sad about it, because I, I literally cannot, unfortunately. Um, solve it myself. Um, but, you know, there's different things like that that I do try to donate time or money to or put just effort to. Um, anyway, 
So I think I'm pretty well grounded overall. Like I've never felt like I am unstable and I'm certainly not suicidal or anything remotely close to that, um, thankfully. And I know a lot of people deal with that kind of stuff, but I, I don't and haven't. Uh, so I'm thankful for that. But my thought was, how, am I, how do I get over here is where I want to go. I'm trying to get this other flight point. But what I do, what I did think is that, you know, it, sort of preemptively, I was like, it would be nice to go to a therapist and maybe work through just general things. I don't know, like if there's some things bothering me and find ways to largely to improve as maybe as a communicator. Is this guy really attacking me? Um, is that really what's going on here? Oh, I guess we're doing this. Your funeral, buddy. That's right, that's right. Actually, I'm getting kind of wrecked now. Right, man? Maybe not. Huh. Did I just kill that guy? Holy crap. I didn't even start that fight. That was his fault. I just unloaded cooldowns and spammed keys, and it seems to work. Being a rogue is easy. Lady Zarisa is over there. That's like a big, big baddie, right? Am I still... Who, what the heck? Really? Is this what this has come down to? Um, did this guy come back from the dead to fight me? Or... I think that guy came. Is that a different person? I wasn't. <laughs> I just not paying enough attention. Anyway, I got away. That's good enough for me. So, uh, anyway, I basically went to a therapist to just kind of work on just basic communication, um, any sort of ability to um, be better at handling situations that are frustrating. Like, I think I handle them pretty well, but I don't believe in. I don't believe I'm. You know, I think there's room for improvement. It's one of those things where I kind of think that. I want to go off this cliff. It looks cool. Oh, sort of. Um. I need a screenshot. Uh, anyway, I just believe that, like, you know, people can benefit from seeing a therapist I, without even having a specific problem. So I started seeing a therapist, and it's been pretty good. Um, there's been some ups and downs. Like, I kind of don't know if I click perfectly with my specific therapist. Um, she's not a bad person. I don't know if she's the right person for me. Uh, I'm, I'm so unable to get across here. I have no idea how to get out of this area. Um, I made his hearth back and do this later. <laughs> like, like go from that side. I think it'd be very easy to go from new home past Mesomir up there to the flight point. That's probably what I'm going to end up doing. I'm so not getting anywhere. Um, but yeah, so I just kind of, I've enjoyed it, and I, uh, what is this thing? That's a cool pet. I wonder if I have any chance of fighting this pet. Alright, let's go, squad. Oh yeah, that's not happening. He just like one shot my panda cub. Oh, two shot it. All right, go level four corgi pup. Actually, we just forfeit. <laughs> my level four is not gonna win against that. Sorry, panda cub. Um. Anyway, yeah. So I, I think it's worthwhile. I think a lot of people should consider therapy if they think it benefit them, especially if you've got like serious concerns in terms of mental health um or feeling like you really can't deal with daily problems um i've never really been concerned about the stigma of going to a therapist because like i'm super confident if someone has a problem with me going to a therapist uh i don't really care <laughs> so i have like a very high level of uh self-worth and um i like to think i sometimes like to think that i have this like high level of 
egomania or something. Which isn't really the case, but it's kind of fun to think of my... Oh wow, I don't want to be in this area at all. This is a really cool spot though. But not where I want to be. Um... Yeah, I'm hearthing out of here. I have no idea where I, I have no idea how to get out of this spot. Oh gosh. These things are creepy looking. Um, yeah, so anyway, sorry, that's a really long story that without saying a lot, mostly because I was really distracted trying to figure out where I'm going. Um But anyway, therapy's been good. I recommend it for people that think they might need therapy. I'm fortunate to have good health insurance, so it doesn't really cost me a lot. Um I think it'll help me as a communicator, it'll help me, you know better regulate my emotions, although I don't think I have a huge problem with that in the first place. Um, it, it reconfirmed what I believed, is that, is that I do not have any sort of mental illness. Um, not that that's why I was going, but my therapist really was like, yeah, I don't think there's anything, um, I forget what the term she used, but like, for, like, for lack of a better term, wrong with me mentally. Uh, she thought it was great that I was coming in as a like preemptive measure for therapy, and I was like, yeah, that's kind of the point. Um, well, anyway, I've rambled for plenty too long, and I have no idea where I'm going still. Uh, so, that will be all for today. Next time, we're going to continue some of these quests. Maybe try and get this pile of flotsam that we need for a requisition quest. Um, maybe find our way over here. Uh, oh, look, I found it. It took me way longer than it should have. But this was the way I was trying to find it. Um, so I knew there had to be a route, and I knew I saw on the map. So if I can get someone has to put a stop to those Naga, and right now here, that someone is you. Zanzir armaments. I don't need those for. I mean, I, I'd see it's for a quest, but I don't really care. Oh, uh, is this the right way? Let's try this. Let's go this way. Okay, okay, I think this is gonna work. I'm getting shot at by the Naga, but that's fine. Almost there, maybe? Is it up there? It might have to, have to go up this hill. Let's do this. Um, I will have to vanish in a moment. Yeah, I need to get up there. This is not the right way, is it? Oh, there it is, there it is. What did I just run through? <laughs> okay, I don't know what I just ran through, but I think that was fine. Um, <laughs> I, I wasn't even paying attention. Like, I saw it, and I was like, well, whatever. I thought it was going to be like a wall. Like, literally just like lock me from walking through it. It was not a physical barrier. It was just a... I don't even know. It was just a doodad. Decorative. But... I'm proud to say, I hope this two-hour buff lasts even after I it like, doesn't tick while I'm logged out. It should stay. I think most buffs work that way. But we found our flight master. Whew. That felt good. Took me long enough. Um, okay. Now, uh, I for real, I'm gonna log out here. We can grab this quest next episode. That's stealth up. And then we can start working on our last uh, ally quest. A few other things. We can you know, go through some stuff. Um... But anyway, that is all for today, so thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.